It was mostly peace of mind, something watching the cows 24-7. My name is Dermot Rowe. I'm farming here since the late 70s. Farming 50 pedigree cows and a couple of hundred yoles. I put in the heat time system about four years ago. I had a 12 month trial with it. Uh, when 12 months was up, I was asked, would I leave it back or leave it here? And um, it's still here. Designed for the dairy industry for cows. Cows data was read as they entered the parlor. Uh, the information was sent down into a monitor and the farm is going to identify cows that are in heat or cows that are sick or cows that may be lame or etc. But the system has evolved over time and it's now gone to a long distance system which through the uh, use of an antenna the animals are picked up over long distance. We got the system in 2011 and it was due to the fact um, that our curable cows are very hard to see coming bullying. Farming is only part time for us. We have a shop business and we have a, I keep um, a door business going as well. The time factor was too long, I was missing too many of them. The suckler farmer by nature is a part time farmer. He's not at home. He tends to have a stock bull and he's away working the whole day. And to be fair, the stock bull will get all the cows in heat and put them back in calf. The government has launched a new incentive, the Beef Genomics Scheme, which essentially focuses the farmer on his breeding and to select the proper sires and the proper bulls to meet the characteristics of the individual cow. So essentially this system works very, very well for the part-time farmer. It'll work while he's not here. It's a pair of eyes 24-7 on the herd and it's very subjective. It'll pick up cows in heat, it'll pick up cows that are sick and it'll pick up cows that are off feed. And he can trust and rely on the technology. I don't look at my cows regularly. Uh, if there's cows in the month of May when there's a lot of cows coming in heat, I'd look at them twice a day and between that and the heat time you'd miss none but uh, now when there's very few cows coming in heat I don't look at the cows at all if they come up on the heat time I look at them then. I rely totally on the machine in the shed and just the first thing I'll do I'll check the machine every evening and every morning I check to see if it's flashing and the cow number. I go down the fields in the morning and the cows is lying down and I have her number going down and if I bring that cow back up that she's supposed to be pulling, I bring her up and inseminate her and scan her in six or eight weeks and it's cow, cow back in calf. The antennae and the viewing panel is in that shed behind me and it's reading the cows in a radius round in that direction, right around where there's bales over there in a field. It's a long distance away, I don't know how many metres, it's a long way. We have a 30 acre field here uh, around the house and it's able to pick it up within 25 acres of it. It comes up to cow in heat, it comes up on the machine and it, it's a red flash and I just checked the, the monitor to see and I go back in and see what graft and when she was bulling last and I can pick it up then if she's due. It will show you, um, they say that she was bulling 21 days and it will also tell you the time to actually inseminate her. Another feature of the system is Healthy Cow 24. Healthy Cow 24 is a mobile app that gives you remote access in the herd. So whether you're away on holidays, or you're out for a meal, or you're sitting in the luxury of your front room, you have full access on the herd where you can identify cows in heat, cows that are sick, or cows that are off the feed. So unlike other competitors, which charge up to five or six euros per cow per year over the lifetime of the product, ours is free of charge, come standard with the product. Yeah, the system itself uh, surprised me. It will tell you if the cow hasn't enough movement. See, I had a very sick cow and I seen her that morning, but I thought she was okay. She was lying down and it didn't disturb him. And I checked that he didn't come back and I see this cow hadn't moved all day. And uh, yes, she had a high temperature and I certainly did bring her up and sorted her out. What this collar does, it identifies cows that are in heat, identifies cows that are sick, and also identifies cows that might be off feed through a rumination feature. So whether a cow was resting, lying, eating, grazing, mounting, sniffing, licking, Whatever that cow is doing, any of that activity, any of that behaviour is all collected and fed every 20 minutes to the antenna that sits up over the farm. It reminds you of an alarm on a house. You, you get so used to it, if you go to bed without it, turn on the alarm, you'll nearly know it. And our automatic gates, if they're not working, you, you feel naked without it. It works very well between an AI man who knows what he's doing and you looking at cows and observing cows as well. It's a very good system. Can say I wouldn't go back to not having it.